Welcome everyone to Geeks Reviews. That's not the title. Let's redo that again. <laughs> Welcome everyone to GRP aka Geeks Reborn Podcast. I'm your host, the King of the Years, Ray. And my special good guest today is my one and only friend, Mr. Flash Flood himself. How's it going, everybody? All right. So, today's a different case. Uh, as you know, uh, this is uh, good old David's uh, 10 million episode here on GRP. <laughs> 10 and, million uh, and one. Exactly. This is the 12, 10 minute. Ten, I can't talk today. <laughs> ten, 10 millionth and one. F, uh, 10 million and first episode on the GRP. There we go. There you go. Words. It's confusing at times. Anyway, uh, so next, the uh, was it next week, right? Next week, yeah. Next Friday is the start of the uh, WWE draft, and as you all know, we're both uh, uh, huge WWE guys. I we both grew up on it. I grew up grew up when I was a kid. First thing I watched was SmackDown. Actually, I saw the uh, Evolution stuff, but I'm more. Uh, I got. I only had the access for SmackDown <laughs> when I moved here. <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, ne- like I said, next week, the following week is the draft. Uh, this Sunday is Extreme Rules, uh, which uh, one stipulation? Yeah. Just, just, yeah. just one. Yeah. They'll probably make it two. Well, two uh, technically, stars. there's a triple threat match. So. Yeah, but will it be a no DQ triple threat match? Because they always seem to mess that up sometimes. It's no DQ. Sometimes it is DQ. That is so, true. We'll that see. Is true. All right. Knowing them, it'll be a straight up triple threat match. Oh yeah, right. All <laughs> DQ. All right. So, uh, hold on. I'm gonna bump you up a bit. There we go. Oops. All right. So today we're gonna do it differently. Unfortunately, this part is not gonna be included. To the audio section of the po- of the episode, because the plan is we get to face each other one per brand, one per brand. That's right. He gets Raw, I get SmackDown. Whoever wins this match gets the first pick for our very own WWE Draft of 2021. So let's get over. Right over to the match. So he picked Kurt Angle. Also, we yep. agreed on a Hell in a Cell match because Hell, come on, it's Hell in a Cell. It's pretty cool. Hell yeah, gotta do it. Badass. Anyway, um, hold on, let me fix your camera a bit. No, never mind. I won't do that because, uh oh, actually there wasn't. Oh, okay, so, oops, I picked. My good old buddy, one of my favorites growing up, unfortunate to what happened to him. Um, oh, wait, can I even use him? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah you, I'll I mean, him. if you can't, right? if you can't, oh, well. why not? It'd be right. a good match. If- right? So, well, I was just talking about, you know, the incident that involved him. Let's just remember him as a wrestler. So, <laughs> here we go. I picked the one and only, the Rabbit Wolverine. Chris Benoit. Captain so, America, Kurt Angle with a broken yes, freaking neck. Yes, sir. So, unfortunately, it's not Saturday today. So, we're going to go. What's your, what, what's your favorite set back then? Mm. Oh, okay. Ooh, No Mercy is in SummerSlam. SummerSlam, yeah. Or Taboo Tuesday is cool. Ooh, Taboo Tuesday is cool. I, I wish they continued uh, Cyber Sunday. Even though right. it was kind of weird. Wait, wh- it wasn't which, really. Which which one was the uh, which one was the what you call it? The fuck, the one where they get to vote. The Cyber Sunday and Taboo Tuesday. Oh, were, was it those two? Yeah, I I, I, I don't I, I knew one of them was. You said them, dude. Oh, oops, <laughs> forgot. All right, so I agree with uh, SummerSlam. 
because technically, yeah. e even though we just got into uh, fall, it's still technically summer here in Texas. It's still hot. Good old Texas. All right, here we go. Hey, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy. All right, let's 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 check the rules because I cannot play any entrances. No give up, which is submissions. Uh, I don't know. I'd leave that on. We don't want... Okay. But no okay, chaos. Want... Well, yeah, let's just leave that. Leave it as yeah, it is. Yeah, we don't want it to go on forever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. Kurt Angle. Dun, versus da, da, da. Chris Benoit in a Hell in a Cell play. match. It's a SummerSlam. Yeah, right. It, it, it would have been cool. All right, ready? Three, two, oh. All good? <laughs> Can you hear that? No. You can't? Really? No, I was playing Kurt Angle's theme song. Yeah, but we... <laughs> yeah, this this oh yeah. By the way, this is only available on the YouTube side. So if you guys want to look at the you the 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 match itself, it's gonna be a full match. Uh, you can go ahead and go to www dot youtube dot com slash Lego. Oh no, that's my actual personal. Well, uh, <laughs> Geeks reviews. If you can't find it. GRP Geeks Reborn Podcast and here we go right off the bat I can't hear a thing That's can you hear me? no I can hear you it's just that I can't hear the game oh yeah me neither that sucks oh yeah the, the, never mind you hear that? I hear comment yeah. there's a commentary what? no Paul I can hear it very quietly, like almost nothing. Okay. Wow, Kurt Angle with a near, near pinfall, dude. So, come on, Kurt. So, uh, while we do this, this is gonna take a while. I'm assuming. What we can do is have our own little predictions for this this Sunday's pay-per-view event. What you say? Well. I mean, obviously, you know, Roman is still going to retain his championship. Yeah. But that, I, ne I never knew that the demon Finn Balor, the demon version, never lost. Yeah. Except for but, uh, except for, your, for Joe during NXT. And everyone knows yeah. no one really cares. No one, uh, WWE doesn't really care about <laughs> NXT. Mm -hmm. Especially not now. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, definitely uh, Roman's yeah. got to beat Finn because they have the Saudi Arabia show. Unless they're going to do yeah. the same thing with uh, similar to Lashley versus Goldberg. Yeah, and then, you know, know, and then, you know, and then let's see. The he, yeah, and then you got uh, the SmackDown Women's Championship, Becky Lynch Becky. versus Bianca. Be Becky's going to win. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I agree with that one. Oh, wow. He's got the submission on Kurt Angle. Oh, oh no. Kurt Angle's hurting. He's coming back. Oh. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and then, of course, Charlotte versus, Charlotte versus Alexa, though, I don't know. That's kind of a like a toss-up. I mean, yeah. they could have Alexa win. Because, yeah, so that uh, Charlotte can still go for the, like, more title, title reigns. Title reigns, yeah. Who knows? I, I I'm oh. not I'm not really sure about it to be honest. I want to give it to Alexa, and just like mm -hmm. because she I mean, her gimmick she's been on it since like what last almost a year now. Mhm. Mm so, mm -hmm. I mean she played the part really well too. Plus that little yeah. promo shoot. Oh, that was great. That was great. Apparently a lot of people were walking out on it. I was like, no. I mean at first I was like, this is just weird, but then. You know, once uh, Alexis started talking, that's when I was like, "Oh, oh, she's pissed, pissed." Yeah, but she, and see, people online too, always and stuff, talk about people are walking out. But do are they really though? They're probably just bullshitting, you know. Either that or like you know, they they probably have to go home early, you know, or some of them maybe might be, maybe we don't know. They could I be they know. could be actually walking out, but we will never yeah. know. 
Anyway. Oh. Oh, escape. Oh, Benoit, orange body. But Kurt yeah. Angle with the yellow head. You know uh -oh. what uh, What his finisher is. The crippler cross base. <gasps> anyway. This is the one I'm kind of excited for. U.S. Mm. Championship. Damien Priest, Sheamus, and Hardy. I feel like that's a show, a night stealer, like show stealer right there. That could be pretty dope. They should have made it a TLC match though, or something like true, that. True. Ladder match, you know. Some sort of a stipulation. Jeff Hardy's got to jump off of something at some point. He probably. So might. that's gonna be cool to see. That's true. Well, he still probably will. In yeah. A triple threat match. Yeah. End up on the entrance ramp, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Become a false count anyway. Anyway, but obviously, I think that Damian Priest has yeah. to continue to they, win. Oh, I mean, yeah. if they're going to build him. Yeah. Isn't he, like, uh, uh, currently on a streak? Something like that, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's been, he's been wrecking good. shop. Mm -hmm. He's been good. He's been pushed hard. I like it, though. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I, like, I, like, right. I like this uh, little feud that they're having here, especially with Jeff Hardy in included. Even though Jeff is, like, everyone knows he's a filler because of you know, what what they had him do few few weeks ago. Now, yeah. Oh, but, there's the cross face. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, give me the win. Let me give. Uh, me. The way he's holding his head's funny too. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> oh, but it's on orange head. Oh. Uh oh. Never mind. Red. Body. Yeah, he's getting close. Oh, it's actually pretty entertaining. <laughs> getting close. Nah, nah, my, my legs aren't hurting. My legs yeah. aren't hurting. <laughs> Why would you go for a pin after that? You just don't try to submit him. Oh, close to almost three. How about that? Almost, almost. Two and a half, two and a half. Anyway, the Usos versus Street Profits. I mean, they're pushing the bloodline hard. We know, yeah. we know that's gonna be Usos win. Even though I kind of want the, well, the Street the thing, Profits though. to win. Though. Here's the thing though. I don't know if the Usos necessarily will win. Because, you know, they could always move Roman to Raw. And then have the Usos lose the titles and keep the Profits on SmackDown. That's true. You know? So that's where it's just... Maybe I'm overthinking how WWE is gonna do it, but... That's what I see. I mean, I, I think the Street Profits need a reign, and I think it would be good, and it would give the Usos a reason to go to Raw and yeah. try to win the Raw Pack titles, or, or, you know, they could also be drafted with the titles to Raw, too, I guess, but I don't know. That one's to a toss-up for me, but I want the Street Profits to win. Ooh, oh! Another close. All right. Liv the Liv most Morgan random... Versus. The most randomest match in this card. Liv Morgan versus Carmella. I mean, <laughs> it's a match. Well, obviously, they're going to let Liv Morgan win. Yeah, and it's probably yeah. going to end up being on the pre-show, right? It's got to. Oh, That's going to be pre-show, probably. Three, four, five, six. Who won? What? Oh! What the well, here we go, here we go. Kurt Angle won. Ah, raw yeah. gets. First pick the raw. First. Yeah. Pick. There you go. I, I lost to a single leg Boston crab. Beautiful. I think it was a Boston crab. Da. Of course. Okay, that's just beautiful. That's, oh, I just realized that's a that's a possible. <laughs> I just realized that's a possible copyright. <laughs> Oops. No, I mean, if it's on YouTube already, uh, you uh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Nah. Anyway, guys, welcome back. It's, you got thirty seconds, so it's that's all true, good. That's true. No, maybe less, less. Probably like ten five, seconds. Se yeah. Oh, less. It's... I think it was like three seconds. Two, three, five seconds. At the, five seconds stops. I would say. But I'm anyway. gonna look it up. Hold on, no. Oh, oh. He he said, I want to prove. Oh wait. Are you talking about like the amount that uh to get the to get a strike? Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you mean like how long the song played. I, well, I that's what I'm looking at too to see is if like what fair use is. Yeah. 
I think I, I I think it's thirty seconds. I've heard that if you play like a me, like music that's copyrighted or something for thirty seconds or less, it's okay. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't but know let's either. get into this shit, man. It's draft time. Yes, sir. So, to the audio people, welcome back. It is Raw's first pick for the night. Kurt Angle won against Mike Chris Benoit. That's right. It's not even it's not even from a from a angle slam or anything either. It was from a pretty sad. Yeah. It was from a from a from a random submission hold. Yeah. Super sad. Super but sad. Hey. Hey. But I'll hey. take it. Raw gets first picked. So But yeah, you can find that match in WWE WWE. YouTube.com, just look up Geeks Reborn Podcast or Geeks Review. You can watch it there. Always look it up. Yes, sir. And subscribe. And subscribe. Share it among friends. The more, the merrier. All right. Let's go and start our draft. Also, that was like less than 15 minutes, by the way. Yeah, that, that, that was, was actually fast. a lot shorter fast. than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a lot more. But anyway, let's get started. All right. My first pick in the 2021 WWE Draft is Roman Reigns. Okay, all right. Okay, Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, once Roman Reigns, of course, of course. Yep. For me, going to be a traditional here. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Well, you took Reigns already, so I can't take... I could have the new day in my side, but... Hmm. Who is... A good one. I would take... Alexa Bliss. That's going to be your second pick? That's going to be your first pick? Yes. Okay. I'm going to boost up... Raw needs, Raw needs ratings boost. Yeah, but if you're drafting champions, you should have drafted Big E. No, because uh, right? they're, they're, still, uh, they're still the New Day later on. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. They're still the New Day. But yeah, okay. Alexa Bliss first. Okay. For me. So I can uh, give I whoever's champ, you know, after once Belair gets her belt back, gets another reign. She could at least have some other person to go against her. Other yeah. than uh, Bailey, Sasha, and Becky. Give her new challengers. And Carmella, of course. But yes, mm-hmm. Alexa Bliss, my first pick. Okay. Then I'm going to go with... Charlotte Flair. Okay. 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 Understandable, understandable. So either one of us could have the, a title holder in a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course, I gotta go. We we did agree with tag teams, so I'm gonna mm-hmm. go with the new day. The new day. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Biggie just got back from SmackDown. <laughs> uh, he became inter inter uh, inter brand character. But yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll say the New Day. So that's three picks for me, technically. E, Woods, and Kofi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, with my... This is the third round. With my third round pick, I'm going to take the good old boy, Edge. Oh! Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Then for me... Wait, what the heck? Oh. For me, hmm, not. I'm gonna take. Where is he? Where is he? Where... I'm gonna have Seamus. Seamus. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. So this is now, and we are entering the fourth round. Yes, of sir. Our... Yes, sir. So far, I have Alexa Bliss, The New Day, uh, and um, Sheamus. While you pick 
Roman Reigns, Charlotte Flair, and I've already forgot your... Oh, Edge. 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 Okay, okay. So, with my next pick, I'm going to take RK Bro. Uh, okay. Dang, you got... You, I, I was going to pick them, but I was mm -hmm. like, do I really need Riddle on my... I mean, I could have Riddle, but do I need Randy? I yes. mean, Randy is, Randy is a, you know, it's a great choice, but if I'm going to showcase, you know, more recent talent, you know, I, I would probably do that. But as well, I it's say, also going to end up being a feud within itself because then, you know, one day they're going to split. Too. Yeah, exactly. So, with that being said, my, what is it, fourth? Fourth. My fourth uh, mm -hmm. pick, it was going to be Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Oh, wait, we're not going to include. I know uh, commentators are on the are on the roster technically. We're not gonna use them, right? Or, like we're not gonna. Mm. Do you wanna? Nah, because I mean they're probably they'll either all switch brands or they may not even switch brands. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So. All right. So fifth pick. Who you you took Finn, right? Yeah, I took Finn Balor. Hmm. With my fifth pick, I'm going to take. Hmm. I'm gonna take a flyer, Sasha, Sasha Banks. Oh, okay, okay. I need women depth. <laughs> right. So for me, then, thank you for reminding me for needing a woman on my side. Uh, I would go with. Hmm. This, mm -hmm. is, this is good. This is good. Who do I think can stand up with the... Oh, are you forgetting one huge one? I probably am. Yeah. I'm probably not seeing it. <laughs> I'm probably not seeing it. Dude, yeah, you're missing out on the... Yeah, the, the biggest one right now. You know what? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna skip the. I, I'm I'm gonna have to look over my woman's. Uh, Dude, no, ranking. I'm gonna, you know, because I'm gonna take Brock Lesnar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That that's my pick. My fifth pick. Plus, I need I need to look over my my woman's. Who who do I want? Actually, I might have a couple of them. Okay, I think you took Brock Lesnar, yes, sir. and that's gonna be Brock Lesnar, Big E, Sheamus. That's a big, that's some big guys. Mm -hmm. So with my sixth pick, I'm taking Seth Rollins. Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. I got scared, I got scared, because my sixth pick, my next pick is Cesaro, <laughs> bringing back the bar. <laughs> okay, well. Hate to do this to you. Do it, do it. But with my seventh pick, I'm taking Becky Lynch. Oh, big pick, big pick, big pick. Okay, okay. That's the one I was thinking you were gonna oh, pick. Oh, okay. About women. Okay. I was about to just blurt it out for you. Okay, I thought you were talking about Brock Lesnar at first. No, because we were talking about That's the right. women. That's so, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm thinking. And that's in this instance she drops the title and moves yeah yeah off. just in case yeah this is like with a big assumption they drop the title so they can mm -hmm. be drafted on the other brand or they just switch titles yeah like, i mean I know, the yeah. the main titles can be switched anyway so that's mm -hmm. fine that's fine that's why i had to take biggie <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so my next pick is bailey actually bailey if, even though she's injured for the next couple of months that's it not sucks. bad not Man. a bad pick. I need, I need a I need a woman's champ, you know. I need a woman's champ. I mean, I need a woman's main eventer. All right, for my eighth pick, let's see how my roster is. So, I got 
Roman is my top guy. Yeah. Charlotte Flair is one of my top women. We've got Edge, the RK Bros, Sasha, Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch. I just realized if you're really if you're like if if you're like part of the creative, you can actually go for rated RK Bro. Right. Because you have R- <laughs> you have Edge and you have Edge and RK Bro together. <laughs> right, and then yeah, and then Edge and then Edge and Seth get uh get uh, respect feet. for each other and then they and then they have a tag team against RK Bros. That would be pretty dope. That is dope. Yeah, okay. So let's see my eighth pick, man. You know, I'm gonna take Elias. Damn it. I was eyeing him. Yeah. Dude. Hold on. I'm... Because I'm interested to see what they're gonna be doing with his gimmick yeah. when it comes back. Whenever it comes back. If it comes back. <laughs> oh yeah, Seamus. I forgot my uh, I forgot my other picks. I was I started, I decided to write them down finally. Who are my picks? Oh yeah, Alexa Bliss is that one. We're on. What uh, what pick are we on? Are we on eight? Eight. Okay, hold on then. Because I am. Oh yeah, I said Cesaro. Okay. Bring up the bar. Just gonna put Swiss. All right, eight. Who do I want? From your side. You know what? Give me a. Uh, give me Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler, good pick to uh, for your weak women's division. Yeah, so far, so far. I, I I realized that, so now I gotta I gotta build up that one. Oh no! Okay. So far, the only one I really have is a. I mean, I only have two. <laughs> I just really yeah. have two. I only have yeah. Bailey and, and fucking Bliss. All right. All right, time to time to build, time to build. Well, you you kind of uh, did take the 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 fire out of me because I was gonna take Baszler and Jax the next pick, even Ooh. though they're gonna be out for a while. Yeah, okay. But you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Nikki and Rhea as my okay. Damn, you, ninth pick. You took Rhea. I wanted Rhea. Mm. I mean, I was fine with Nikki, but I. With with the lineup I have, I I feel like uh, she could have worked as well. But for me, I'm gonna keep Bianca. Bianca. Yeah. Okay. I want. I, 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 I was waiting for you. I was gonna take her, but I was like, no, I'm gonna give him Bianca and take I, Nikki. I was getting and... scared because like the more I I pick other wrestlers, the more I was like, he's gonna pick. He's gonna pick the I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm trying to him. make it is is like as even as possible because mm-hmm. I don't want to have like every champion and every main eventer you know yeah, yeah I gotta true. have other stuff like so, someone to boost up as well right and I guess too because uh, I've already got Roman I'm gonna go with the Usos as my 10th pick okay okay because my next pick is Deegan and Shotzi Nah, I don't know. The, I don't remember. Huge. I don't remember their uh, tag names, but I think it's just that. That's pretty much what it is. Oh, okay, cool. I, I was actually going to draft her them. Okay. But uh, I like them and, as tag teams. They should have. Yeah, and I, I was going to draft and draft them instead of Rhea and Nikki, but or but they got the championship. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 And also, I draft the Usos. In a, on assumption that they drop the titles, so they can go to SmackDown, yeah. so they can go to Raw with Roman. Okay, okay. My eleventh pick. Let's see. I've currently got. Yeah, Edge, RK Bros, Asha, Becky, Bay. You, you, you know, you've got Bailey, Elias, Nikki, and Rhea, the Usos. You know, I'm going to go with a little bit of a uh, curveball here, and I'm going to pick Walter from NXT. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a good one. I feel like yeah. he'll fit in Raw, too. 
Yeah. You know, compared to like, like, I feel like I'm building a more, uh, more like, performance wise, where yours is like straight up brawlers, I, which I love. Yeah, I and I'm well, and I'm like drafting also based off of um, like the storylines I would want to do. Okay, okay. Good, good thinking. That see, I started thinking about that. That's why I started thinking about like women's division. I was like, okay, who can I pick for to go have against with? Anyway, for yeah. me, my eleventh pick. I want to build up my. Hmm. Whew, this is. Getting down to the nitty gritty, my friend. No, because there are a lot of them that I want, but Ooh, at, the, at yeah. the moment. I can only pick one at a time, you know? Yeah. So, I'm going to say... Three, two, one. Almost an AJ Styles as the tag team. You're you're smart because I was about to do that to you. It was hard. I was like, ugh. Do I do I want to tag them at the moment? No, but those two are too good. <laughs> With great. my twelfth pick, I think I'm going to go after somebody we've kind of overlooked a bit, uh-huh. Mr. Bobby Lashley. That, Bobby Lashley. See the reason why I didn't want to take him because you have Reigns and I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wanted to watch well. that, so I was like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna grab." I'm gonna wait till he grabs Lashley. So that's funny. For me, hmm. Okay, where am I at? Am I am I sitting pretty in women's division? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so far I'm sitting pretty. Uh, okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and keep the King Nakamura and King Nakamura. Rick Boogs over at SmackDown. All right. With that Sounds like a good pick. With the assumption that Pat McAfee stays on SmackDown because he love, I, w- I would love well, him. He's going to stay on SmackDown. I would there ain't him. no way. He, he's, my comment, he's my best commentator at the moment. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. Like he's getting paid the big bucks to be oh, yeah. on SmackDown. Okay. Uh, okay. Who was it? I forgot. I blanked out. I forgot who it is. Now we're going to 13th pick. Mac and Boogs. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Let's see. Who is left here? 13. Oh, I got a good one. I'm going to keep Drew McIntyre on Raw. I was wait- that that was another one because I wanted to go against Reigns. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so many good good ideas. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Give me Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Keith Lee. AKA Bearcat. Have you heard about that one? I think- mm- uh, no, I have not heard about that one. His new, his new Nick uh, moniker is Bear, uh, Keith Bearcat Lee. Interesting. <laughs> I don't like it personally, um, but I don't know. Okay. I think for the hell of it, we go twenty rounds. Okay, I think there's that much more talent left that we. Can oh, go dude, I did rounds. not expect when, when I op- when I looked this up. I did not. I was not expecting this many people. I was yeah, expecting I'm... at least like uh, you know, like at least fifteen of them, because I've yeah, never seen we'll... some of them here. You know. Yeah, and there's uh, definitely a lot to go through, and there's mm-hmm. still a lot of talent on the board, okay. so we can keep going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and we're all, honestly, dude, we're only like thirty minutes in. Yeah, and that's why I'm saying we can yeah. go to twenty. And then we can go out over each team's, each side's, that's you true. know, roster and, we can, and all yeah, that. If we have to, we can give them 
uh, who do we want to represent the brand, you know? Of course, other than Reigns and Biggie, we can uh, mm -hmm. pick hand up, uh, pretty much give the 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 titles to anyone. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Fourteenth uh, yeah. pick. It's my turn, yes, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I think I'm going to need to bulk up on the tag team division. Well, yeah, a little bit. Let's see here. Who am I going to go for? So far, I have five teams, I think. Oh, no, six mm -hmm. teams. I'm done. Yeah, I've got... Oh, duh. I'm going to go with the Street Profits. Oh, yeah, that's I mean, that's true. <laughs> But that's also, that sucks, though, because then that screws my storyline thought that they're going to lose the titles. Yeesh. All right, let's oh, see. Oh, well. Let's I'm see. still taking um, I just want the NXT roster, guys. Come on now. I don't, I don't know the roster. Oh. Uh, hmm. My 14th pick, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, mine will be Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, so, damn you. I am building my mid-carders at the moment. But I think Good I have plenty call. enough. Yeah, you drafted a few in the... Uh, Early on. The well. beginning. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I really want to give a title to Woodstock, so... Ah, um... Hmm. Okay, while you think of yours, I'm going to see if I can find a... Yeah. I'm going to take Kevin Owens with the 15th pick. Kevin Owens? Oh, yeah. that's right. Even though he's going to be gone, probably. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Where is he? Where is he? For me, like you... I'm gonna throw a curveball and go with Pete Dunn. The Bruiser Pete Dunn, you jerk. Are you reading my mind, my brother? Yeah, I just took a page from your textbook, my guy. There you go. You took me down there, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Page. Let me see. I've got... Let's see. Let's, uh... Oh, there's Kevin Owens. <laughs> I just saw his mm -hmm. side picture. Let's, uh... Let's go with uh, Natalia and Tamina as my okay. 16th pick. Okay, there it is. Damn, I wanted Natalia. Um... Hmm. I need the. Uh, I think I need main eventers. I believe. One, two, yeah. Three. Yeah, I could probably uh, swing Sheamus there too, and AJ. Oh uh, yeah. Six, maybe. Five, six. Okay, I'm. I'm probably. I'm probably staying pretty. With. Uh, with. Look what you got. I got you. Thirty dogs. <laughs> Dirty Dog stays on SmackDown. Oh, you're getting the Dirty Dogs, huh? I, I, I kind of like Dolph Ziggler, not going to lie. Oh, no, I like Dolph Ziggler, too. I feel like he's been kind of uh, misused, but not I also feel like he was, he was also unfairly given the moniker of the next Shawn Michaels, and that's uh -huh. a failure as a, within itself. It, it was just like two fours, too, yeah. yeah. But, I, hey, I, even then, uh, looking back, I like how he like uh, my God, he sells really well i want him. no he he does really sell well and he also you know he did he came in with vicky guerrero and did all a bunch of dumb shit too so you know he deserved a good <clears throat> a good run i want him in my title oh wait he became a title twice now a mm -hmm. world title holder that's right one was it both mm -hmm. by money in the bank or one of them was a uh, actual legit win actually don't remember I know one of them was. Uh, huh? 
Who, who are we talking about? Dolph. Dolph. Uh, I think I one was Money in the Bank. Yeah, okay. I don't think the other one was. I could be completely wrong there. Yeah, I don't, but... I don't remember the other one. Or it could be both, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, where, 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 was, okay. where were we? It's my turn, 17. 17th pick. I'm going to go with Carry On Cross. Oh, I was, I was thinking about him, but I was like, do I need more mid-carders or lower cards? See, I'm just trying to get as many big names and just fill them out yeah. throughout the, you know, so, yeah, so there are no mid-carders or yeah. anything. It's all main event. Oh, you know what? You're right. I'm going to take the Mysterios then. The Mysterio. Yes, sir. Here's me hoping that they don't pick the next person I'm going to pick. Oh, or tag, actually. Hmm. Let's see who I've got here. I've got Roman, Charlotte, Edge, RK Bros, <clears throat> Sasha, Seth, Becky, Elias, okay. Nikki, and Rhea. The Usos. Oof. Okay, that's my next I've, set then. All right. I've got. <laughs> I've got. Who else do I've got? I've got Walter, Bobby Lashley, McIntyre, Street Profits, Kevin Owens, Natalia and Tamina, Carry On Cross. Okay, I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I think I am going to go after Mr. Jinder Mahal. Oh, screw you, man. He was my next pick. Telepathy. You took Jinder. No, I wanted Jinder. Um, all right. Fine. Who was it? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, is it this person? My next pick. Let us see. I... <laughs> I'm looking for a specific person here, but I don't know if they're on, on the list. Oh, no, they're not. Damn it. You know what? Uh, where's her name? Where's her name? Where's her name? I don't see her name. Ah, oh, man. Okay, hold on. I gotta look up this NXT. It's also from NXT. And it is Raquel Gonzalez. Raquel name. Gonzalez. Yes. That's out of the left field. Yes, sir. She's the champion, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, I think... My 19th I think pick. I'm set with, uh, with my women's division. I can do... I can just fill in the rest. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Well, with the 19th pick, I... I think I'm going to have to go after. Ooh, it's tough here. Um, hmm. We'll take Asuka. Actually, you we'll know what? A... I, I was going to take her, then I thought about NXT. Raquel. Yeah, Raquel. I'm going to take, uh, take her as on a flyer there, see what happens. Okay. My 18th pick is my one of my actually current favorite Mike guys is Happy Corbin. It's gonna be my 19th pick. Happy Corbin. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I already got one. my next pick. 20th Last pick, one. Damian Priest. Of course, of course, of course. I don't even know who's the U.S. champ at the moment. No, and wait, now... no, not US champ. I see champ. Oh, wait, it's Nakamura. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, My 20th pick will be. You 
You know what? Screw it. He deserves it. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Damn, this is a good one. Because now I have two choices that I want to mm -hmm. use. One. What are you? The, are the you choices two? are my la my final two choices that I want to like. I can't decide which one is. One of them is John Morrison. Mm, and mm -hmm. the other one is Otis. Mm. Both good performers, in my opinion. But I don't know who I want more. I don't know, man. That's where it's tough to be drafting you know a what? full roster. You know what? Let's go with uh, John Morrison. John Morrison. Johnny Nitro. Final pick was John Morrison. Johnny, Johnny Impact. Yeah, Johnny Soho. Johnny Nairo. Johnny everything. Johnny, uh, Johnny Drip Drip. Johnny Drip Drip. All right. Recap of our amazing, amazing list. But first, break time. And we're back. So. As for a recap, good sir, would you like to kick yeah. us off with all of your picks? So for Team Raw, we we had a great draft. Oh, yeah, uh, I agree. My first pick, you it know, got to go with Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. uh, then I got Charlotte Flair, you know, the queen. Mm -hmm. Edge, RK Bros, which is like was like a steal for me at that point with yeah. Edge and the RK Bros. Yeah, that was a big steal. I messed up on the first. Sasha, yeah, Sasha Sasha Banks, which is a little bit of a flyer for me because she seems like she's sometimes not all into it. Mm -hmm. And then I got Seth Rollins, which I really was like, that's a huge get. Yeah, at that that the one. Six pick, you that, know. That one I didn't even think about for sure. And then the seventh pick was kind of crazy and like this doesn't this won't happen in the real draft but becky lynch was my number seven pick yeah yeah so yep. yeah i got becky lynch sasha banks and charlotte for women so far Ooh, number <laughs> only missing bailey <laughs> yeah on all four number eight i went with elias on uh, kind of a flyer to see if if they bring him back with a good gimmick if they don't then i've got another mid card guy i guess you said, cr and then, you said cross right no, I got that was uh, Elias. My oh, pick. Elias, Elias, my bad. Yeah, and then uh, my ninth pick, I got Nikki and Rhea, <clears throat> which it, good start with the women's tag team. I wanted, I wanted Rhea. God damn it. Yeah. And then number ten, I went the Usos. Good pick, good pick because of you know, yep. the brains. Um, yeah, so I have to. Yeah, exactly. And then eleven, I got Walter from NXT, which I think is actually going to happen. He's going to get the call up. And Hopefully. he would be a good fit. He would be a pretty good fit. And I don't, I mean, he doesn't really speak much and he just kicks ass. So that's what I like. And then calling the all the championship yeah. match. Yeah, okay. right. All right. And then falling all the way to the 12th and 13th picks, I got Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre, mm -hmm. which were two more big gets. Yep, yep, yep. I, then I went Street Profits, Kevin Owens, Natalia and Tamina. Carry on Cross, which was a pretty decent get. Mm -hmm. uh, Gender Mahal, which I know you were upset about. I am, because mm, I wanted him. <laughs> Asuka, and rounding out my roster is Damian Priest, last but definitely not least. I'm also upset about that Asuka pick, because like I said earlier, it was supposed to be either Asuka or Raquel. <laughs> right. Anyway, there goes your, uh, your SmackDown list. Yes, um, that is. That is not your SmackDown list. That's your Raw list. My SmackDown list. My Raw list. list. <laughs> My SmackDown My list. Uh, the first half of this, I uh, I forgot the ranking of, like, or I forgot my picks, like, the arrangements anyways. So I just, like, yes. put them randomly. So the first half is gonna not going to make sense. But, mm -hmm. of course, the only one I really remember is, number one, The New Day. Of course, like yes, they're they're a great stable. I gotta, I I love them enough where I it, it feels weird when there were only two of them, and it feels so good to to have all three of them again in the same screen. Right, obviously. Mm -hmm. 
definitely. I I think I remember my number two was Alexa Bliss because she questioned Alexa it. Bliss. It's yes, I was a little surprised by that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, see, I was, I was, I was, I was thinking of some. My former was different because I didn't think that. Uh, um, I thought it would be like a, a certain characters are like supposed to stay in their specific brands and such. Then mm-hmm. I was, then you kept picking. I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta. I gotta pick proper hero, not just like oh, just in case you know. I'm picking your character, your your wrestler. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but from here on out, I don't remember. I think my next one was Sheamus, but on my list. Let's see, I've got them all here. Okay, cool, cool. cool. So you went, yeah, you got Sheamus after uh, you went. All right, here, New Day. Uh, here we go. Oh wait, okay. So Sheamus, I think after that was uh, Bailey. Was it Bailey? Brock Lesnar. You Brock got Brock Lesnar. 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 Okay, okay. Brock Lesnar for Brock Lesnar. I mean, I think... I don't want a squash match, but I want, like, a... I mean, it's it's Brock versus E, possibly, mm-hmm. you know? That's a once-in-a-lifetime sort of matches, too. Um, My next one, I'm assuming, is Bailey now. No, sixth pick was Cesaro. What? When did I pick Bailey? Uh, you picked Bailey. Um, the seventh pick. So the next pick was <laughs> Bailey. Uh, my se- Okay, so Swiss because the bar, I yes. and I feel like he who I think him against E would be a good one too. So it would be yeah. very good. And I've I've been I've been straight up upset that he got he had like a what a one week feud with Reigns. And then he yeah. he went back to to Seth, and then he just fell into oblivion. Um, yep. Uh, uh, you said Bailey was my next, so Bailey because I I need str- uh main eventer for women's side. But, right. Uh, I mean I like I've always liked Bailey. She she was a pretty good feel. She got under my skin for sure. Uh, after Bailey, I believe now it's Finn. Finn Balor, Finn Balor, because I like Finn Balor. After uh, Bailey, you picked. Did I mess up again? Let me. Shit, your your fourth pick was Finn Balor <laughs> on the oh. fourth pick. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! Yeah. My fourth, my, I listed Finn on four. Like I said, I did not think about making a list. I was trying to keep up. Yeah. So okay, I'll I'll just like I said, my first half will not make sense. Uh, Finn Balor because Finn Balor, and then my next one was Shayna Baszler, I believe. Yes. Okay, so now I think we're fine now. Shayna Baszler because you know I have, I, I want to have like a, a, a didn't didn't we got a tease of uh, Shayna versus current Alexa and one one of the during their. Feud. Yeah, they yeah they did, but they're also gonna probably either keep her and Nia together or break them up too. Will be something too. Yeah, uh, this is assuming that they do break up. Yeah. Next one is Bianca. I feel like uh, SmackDown is just the right fit for Bianca. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, she, one she's pretty technical. Uh, I wouldn't say technical all the way, but she can she can be like uh, she has the strength, she has the looks. Yeah, and she she's can, good in the ring. She's exactly. just not the best on promos. Oh, yeah. She needs work on the promos for sure. Girl! Mm. Okay, get it. I get it. And cut the hair off. Um, I like it. I like I like the... I, I just feel like she needs, like, a new uh, nickname, you know. She she keeps calling her the EST of WWE. It doesn't have the same ring as the EST of NXT. No, it does. To me, it does. I think it sounds better. Really? I, I feel like it's better yeah. than NXT. Well, we all have our own Yeah. So, opinions. follow up, I have the newly comers, Tegan Knox and Shotzi Blackheart, a.k.a. Just yes. Shotzi. I guess Blackheart is too, uh, too edgy. Um, mm. Of course, I need a great tag team on my side, so I'm going to definitely pick those. To combat your current, you know, Current tag champs, woman tag champs, Ray and Nikki. Um, following it up, another tag team. Actually, the next two tag are tag teams, and 
I don't know about the next one. Uh, AJ and Omos, they're a great tag team. They work really well. Um, both in and out the ring. Uh, yes. Omos just needs to work on his promos. But yes. he is getting a lot better in the ring for sure. Plus, oh yes. man, I should have taken Bobby Lashley because I want to see Lashley versus Omos now. That'd be pretty dope. Especially that, especially that one tease, I think, like a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. The next one is the King Nakamura and Rick Moogs, for sure. It's kind of cheating because they're technically not a tag team, but they are... I mean, but they've wrestled together, that's and he's true. like his personal guitarist, so that's, that's fair. True. That's true. Okay, okay. Following it up with Keith Bearcat Lee. <laughs> Don't like the bad part. No, no, no. But I feel like uh, he'll be a great opponent for like other big guys such as Swiss or Cesaro. I mean, I call him Swiss because of the YouTube channel. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, Sheamus. I, yeah, Sheamus, and you know, I have Brock. Brock versus Key. Mm-hmm. That's kind of a. I mean, we got a tease at uh, at Royal Rumble. I want more of that. And almost versus Lesnar. Oh, yeah, mean. that's true. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Number 14 is Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I feel like him and Cesaro could have a good feud together. Or they could be a good tag team. That's true, too. Then again, Cesaro is just like pretty good tag team, like a tag team partner. Mm -hmm. Um, Following it up is a guy from NXT. I took one from your books and took one of the NXT. Technically, isn't he part of the UK branch too? Yes. Pete Dunne? NXT UK. Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne, a.k.a. the Bruiser Wade. I love that nickname. That's pretty bad. I think it's a great name. Straight up badass name, yeah. Um, But yeah, uh, I feel like he'll definitely shine uh, in SmackDown. Uh, if they actually give him a shot and not just give him the Al- Alistair Black seg- uh, treatment. I don't think they can afford to, but, you know. Yeah. Who knows, man? Yeah. I mean, that, that one's just like a, a, a big letdown. In my mm-hmm. opinion. Uh, following it up, the Dirty Dogs. Because Dirty Dogs. I kind of want more tag teams in my uh, my shows. I want to make the tag team belt championships right. feel more, you know, feel more legit. Legit, yeah, more more prestige than you know what what random random ass uh, feuds for the tag mm-hmm. teams. Following that up, like I mentioned just now, even though I was like broken up in sentences, I was giving one. Mm. Uh, Mysterios, even yes. though. Uh, they're slowly building to the. Uh, I don't want them to break. See, I want them to break up, but I want them to be both faces. I right. don't. I don't think Dominic can be a heel. I feel like they'll just be like, "Dad, I gotta go on my own." Exactly. We gotta go our separate and then, ways. And then that's where we see Dominic once he's ready retires Rey Mysterio. Maybe. He says he still has a good few years in the oh, ring. Yeah. So, dude, he looks great. Ray looks yeah. great in the ring. Yeah, he with all a... the twelve thousand surgeries he's had. Exactly. Yeah, yeah he he hadn't looked like he looked like he hadn't slowed down at all. Um. Uh oh. What's going on here? Uh oh. Oh no, it's just pain. Okay. Cool. Got scared. After that, mm-hmm. I took another page from the NXT segment. Took a random random uh woman division Raquel Gonzalez I feel like she could maybe not not match up but be close to what Shayna Baszler is and I feel yeah, like yeah and I, she's taller and more lean she would match up well against Charlotte for yeah, sure yeah I feel like <clears throat> she can she can have good feuds with uh, with uh, Shayna with Bailey may possibly Bianca also mm-hmm. going back to Alexa Bliss I did not realize that woman is short as hell. Dude, she's like a, like, you know, like, fun size. She's, like, short like Olivia, dude. Yeah, exactly. She's very short. When when she did that DDT on Charlotte, Mm -hmm. 
I was like, holy moly, how how much of a back pain that, that feels sometimes, you know? If you yeah, do right. no, she's she's very tiny. Mm-hmm. I did not realize that. And I've seen some of her matches too, which is weird. Anyway, number 19, I kept Mr. Happy Corbin. I love the gimmick. He still has that asshole personality, but... But he's first, happy. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it's a lot... I, I never liked the King Corbin stuff. Like he was, yeah, I mean, me he's a great heel personally, but I just, I just thought that in out of like the Baron, the Lone Wolf, you know, Lone Wolf looks cool, uh, versus the King Corbin and the Happy Corbin, King Corbin in my opinion was the worst one. Um, mm-hmm. I'm liking Happy. Unfortunately, he's in Europe at the moment, so he hadn't shown in TV. I'm sad, but uh, yes, Happy Corbin is one of them, and last is a, a wrestler I used to hate because of the team Eminem. <laughs> John Morrison, a.k.a. Johnny. Impact Johnny. Drip, 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 drip Johnny. Soho Johnny. Yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Johnny, whatever uh, promotion he's in at the moment. But yes. So while you, while you were, um, you know, going through your roster, there's some free agents that were out there. That we didn't think about that I'd like to the, the, the Miz. Name. Oh yeah, the that's Miz, true. That's true. Armella, Liv Morgan, Dewdrop, Eva Marie, Dana Brooke, Cedric Alexander, Otis and Chad Gable, Sami Zayn, Naomi, and Zelina Vega. Mm-hmm. Those see, are the ones off the top of my head I can think of. See, when we uh when we started, mm-hmm. um I wanted Liv Morgan like early on. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, I want to, you know, I want her to perform more. But at the same time, I was just like, after after picking more, I was just like, oh, no, I, I got to fill my my spots here, you know. I got to fill it up. I got to pick the one I want to know. I want to see, you know. But then right. again, we did like 20 slots. If I feel like if we did more, we could have filled up more. Yeah, because, well, 20 is fair, dude. Yeah, 20 is fair. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And, you know. We definitely can, you know, don't have to go on forever. But I would definitely want uh, Liv in SmackDown. I feel like she's still... I feel like SmackDown is, like, a good place for, like, performers where they can still shine, even though they're not as good. Well, and it's also a bigger stage for people to see them because more people watch SmackDown than they do. That's true. And, and and Fox has a lot more control over what goes on on SmackDown. Okay. I did not know that. As for The Miz. Uh, oh, yeah. By the way, Mansoor and Mustafa Ali are also out. I mean, in, yes. the, in, the, in the pool. Same with the mm-hmm. Viking Raiders. Um, but at this point, for those people who... Uh, for those wrestlers who didn't get picked, uh, we can just safely assume that they stay on their specific brands, right? For now, because uh, like 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 we said, uh, you know, twenty seems fair to pick out. Also, Titans T- Titus O'Neil is still on the raw brand. Um, but yeah, because I wanted to pick Tony Storm. As right. Well, but I, when when you start picking out the, the main inventors, I was like, okay. After you took Becky, I was like, okay, I gotta make sure I get the main inventors on my women's division, or else mine will look like really. Yeah, it's funny too because I got all the champions too. I know. I, I was like Lashley, McIntyre, Reigns. I got the the Raw Tag Champions. I got. The, the Usos. Charlotte, the Usos, That's Becky it. Lynch. Yep, yep. <laughs> for me, I went Jesus. with the... I, for some reason, I, I, I feel like I went with the... Uh, I wouldn't say the underdogs, but the... Uh, oh, let me see. But the ones that I feel like can bring in... Uh, like, our fan favorites, I guess. Other than right. uh, my last few sets. I feel like I brought... Uh, the heavy hitters rather than them of course you're gonna get all the champions so that's gonna be good on this song but well obviously we would have to you know we are we would and pick also, champions yeah exactly yeah. oh yeah that's the next part 
pick yeah. out our uh, champions. All right. Yeah. Actually, except for the Universal and the WWE, because we're gonna let them stay to Biggie yeah, and yeah. Reigns. And Charlotte wouldn't change either. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, because uh, your state. She's already the champ. Yeah. So for yeah. me, uh, you took Becky, so I have to change mine. So, starting with yours. Mm-hmm. Wait, you have the RK bro though. So technically, I know I tag, have all of them. No, I mean like technically you don't have you can't really pick for for a tag team yeah, unless you want and to that's, unless it, you want to. Well, no, I didn't want to because that's what I in my head is like I've got RK bro the champs already. The Usos lost. And you know, so and I, came over to Raw. Yeah, I guess. And I'll then start I did it. draft the Street Profits, but you know. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I'll start with mine. Okay. Um. Uh, whew, this is a good one. Who do I want to give it to? You know what? I'll give it to. You know, I like that idea when when you uh, get when you send it out to me earlier. I'm gonna give it to. Actually, you know what? Sheamus and Pete Dunne. I know it's... The tag, su- t- tag yeah, team? Sh- yeah. Okay. I feel like they, they could work together. You know, maybe similar fighting stuff, but we'll see. I mean, they have a other, like... They have the New Day. They have they have AJ and Omos. Omos. And see, the thing is, too, is if, if, if I was you, I would make, like, Kofi and Woods the champions or something, too. And then you, or, and if, because then if, no, or. No, they're they're going to fight for it. And that's when, know, that's when the new day truly celebrate being the champs. Mm-hmm. But, yes. Okay. So, since so that. Pete Dunn, Pete yeah. Dunn, and Cesaro, you said? No, Pete Dunn and Sheamus. Sheamus. That, but that was a hard part because I wanted uh, either Sheamus or Cesaro with uh, with Dunn. But I decided, you know what? No more Brexit. They should stick. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, so there's the tag champs for my side okay. for SmackDown. You yours is gonna be kept because yours is the RK bro still. Same with yes. your sir, your women's champs. For me, yes. uh, who's a I guess I'll just give it back to Bianca, and just okay. you know start a new feud. Start it off with a, with a, with a Bailey. Oh no, maybe a Bliss feud to start off her SmackDown run again. But yes, that, those are my women's champs. Okay. So yours? No, you kept the man. You kept all the <laughs> damn. You weren't kidding. <laughs> yeah. So I'm the so one Char- on. Charlotte, and, and I'm gonna keep Charlotte as my champion because yeah. I don't want Becky as my champion. And I and I just realized like your your U.S. champ is Damien Priest though. Yeah. So for me, I don't have an IC. I ch- oh, no, I do. I have Nakamura. Yeah. I so like, it's so already have, okay. So, but who if if you were to give it to someone else, your your U.S. champ? On mine, I. I would try to elevate it more and keep Damian Priest pushing and have him lose it to like Seth Rollins. Okay. And then have Damian Priest beat him again for okay. it to give it that elevated feeling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And then, you know, I'd start off with a, you know, RK Bros and Street Profits feud probably for the titles. Mm-hmm. That would be fun, you know. Especially how lax three of them are. <laughs> right. <laughs> And then Randy. <laughs> and, then, then, and then there's Randy. Probably you getting, know, getting annoyed to death by all three. And then I also think that the first person I would have go after Roman would be probably Bobby Lashley oh, one-on-one. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. For me, or, I, even, or even Kevin Owens just to get him to stay and not go to AEW. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Especially with the three other people there. For me, yeah. for the New Day, since since they are trying to turn him into a heel, I, I, would, I would put Keith Lee. Right mm-hmm. off the right up there, started off right there. Um, for for my IC champs, you know, maybe uh have Nakamura versus Jeff Hardy, started mm. off. Um, yeah, that that would be good. That that would be. Mm. Good. If, or if, Nakamura if, versus Balor. Oh yeah. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I I I only say uh Jeff Hardy because he deserves it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, after getting so much shit at the moment, so uh, well, 
you know, thank goodness is in the U.S. Championship scene. Mm-hmm. But yeah, definitely give him. Uh, if if I would have you know, hand it to him, definitely Jeff Hardy, so I can have him and uh, Cesaro feud along with Finn, and if possible, you know, if possible, mm-hmm. John Morrison on that mix, that'll be good too. Um, the tag champs, def- like I said, I want to give it to Dunn and Cesaro. Oh no, Sheamus. I'm sorry, and you know, there's. There's the Dirty Dogs, there's Knock and Boogs, AJ and Om- Omas, The New Day, Mysterios. That is straight up a tournament right there. You know, yeah. Whoever wins at the end gets the title and such. Um, of course, as ha, Finn Balor never fought Brock as the Demon, huh? Uh, I think he did, or he didn't. I don't remember. Because if that's the case, uh, yeah, that's another one I want to see. I mean, Brock versus Big E would be ridiculous, too. Maybe break, That's like the big one. Maybe break another uh, ring, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you? What, 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 what would you say is the... What, what do you have plans for your, for your roster after the draft? Well, for my roster, after the draft, I drafted Roman. You know, the U- Usos come back without the titles and are sad and everything and have to prove themselves. Once again. So it'll be the Usos versus the RK Bros mm-hmm. for the for the tag titles, is, is that, probably. Is that along with the uh, Street Profits stuff? Well, the Street Profits, man, I think better now that I think about it is the Usos and RK Bros would be a good, better... Yeah. A better, a better match. Start. Yeah. Start a better match and a better start. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like I said, I would start Seth Rollins out as the U.S. champ mm-hmm. and, you know, go up against Damian Priest and maybe beat him a, beat him once. Have him and be, then have and, Seth beat his streak. Yeah, have a little bit of a streak and then maybe face someone like, you know, Kevin Owens. Or or even Walter, and then give Walter the U.S. champ, or just have Damian Priest, you know, have that storyline of being down and beaten and coming back up to beat him again for the championship. Okay, I was and about to say the same thing. Okay, that would make the championship mean more. So in the end, I would want da- you know Damian Priest to have that back yeah. from Seth. As far as the Raw Women's Champion, I would want it to be you know revolving around Charlotte and Becky and uh, uh, Tasha. If she's sane enough, so and yeah, I've got Oscar too to plug in there. Oh so, yeah, that's true. You know, Man, you've got you got a lot of that going on. Obviously, for the Universal Championship, Bobby Lashley or Drew McIntyre. Oh, dude, you know, I would put those two guys back to back. That that's just like a like a ratings boost right there. Easy. And I think I also think too that Carry On Cross and Edge would be a good. Match. That's true. You know, and like like carry on cross. That, that you would know, definitely get, boost. Uh, get over, yeah. yeah. Especially, and you could even bring more of the brood character out of Edge. You know, yeah. that would be kind of cool. I I feel like, I, some of I I think Cross's uh promos are I've been a lot better nowadays too. Yeah, they've I mean, been a little it's, bit better. It's still still it feels scripted. But uh, it's, oh, fun- yeah. it's funny. There was like a a little segue uh, segment here. Uh, I remember watching Raw a few we- like several weeks ago. I think it was like his second week, third week in Raw. Mm-hmm. He was doing a promo, and some I feel like I heard someone walk in on them. Yeah, and- I know. Yeah, we talked about that. Okay, the last I'm a bit- time. okay. Yeah. That was like the weird because episode. he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry." I was like, "What? Did I hear that right?" I thought I was going nuts. But yeah, that was hilarious. But yeah, like I said, he's getting better now, so I feel like that's 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 a good spot right there. Right. Well, that yeah. was the 2021 WWE yeah. draft, folks. Yes, sir. Hey, you know what? I'm I am actually surprised because we finished the uh, the draft portion at like mm-hmm. 45 minutes. Not bad. Wow. Well, we fin- we're not bad. We finished fast. Yeah. Now we knew. I'm just kidding. I did. I today was the first time I saw the list or the roster actually. I mean, I had a whole thing set up. I had my own draft board and 
I have all of our teams on my phone too yeah. that we've been drafting. Yeah. The free agents and shit. So I was prepared. Yeah, you know. you're, you're more prepared than I am. That's for sure. I always am more prepared. Yeah. I over prepare. That is true. I I procrastinate. As you know, as I mentioned it earlier, like, are you prepared yet? Are you prepared for tonight? I was like, yeah, I got the screenshots of the roster now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah but... I got the roster. I, I, uh, I, I have a screenshots of them, so I can now pick who I want. Hard thing to do. I would difficult. I would, uh, I would so admittedly say. But yeah, that was some of these people I haven't even heard of. Who is Megan Morant? I don't know who the Sarah, what the fuck are you Sarah, with? Sarah Schreiber. This is like September eighteen uh, updated list. Yeah. Oh, those are probably the uh, the the uh, the, cast the backstage the... announcers oh, okay. or whatever. Okay, because I don't know who's Elise Ashton either. I only know Kayla Braxton. Yeah, yeah, I only that's know it. that person. I don't even know who Greg. Oh wait, no, I like Greg Hamilton. I've seen him over. Like and there's how... probably a lot of them that are gonna come up from NXT too, like that's Scarlet true. maybe. Dude, you know, where, I, where has Scarlett been, dude? Who knows? Maybe I, she had in, a boob job. In, in, in my opinion, I, I definitely would say Cross needed Scarlett at the moment. Also, where's Lacey Evans? I've never seen her. She's pregnant. Oh, I'm dumb. That's right. I saw the post. Never mind. Um, Mike Room, that's not him. Riddick Moss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That, He's that, on one time. That one, that guy, Titus O'Neil. Reckoning. <laughs> was he really? Reckoning. So it's oh, Omnir, the, 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 the 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 woman. Maya Yim. Yeah. Oh, Maya Yim had COVID apparently. Maya Yim. Yeah. But there's then, T. Bar and Mace, the most. Sonya Sonya Deville, Tony Storm. Fuck, I didn't think about that one. Oh yeah, Tony Storm. Yeah, oh yeah, Tony Storm. I was uh, like I mentioned, I was. I wanted her, but you start picking up. Uh, Main eventer, so I have to. Dexter Loomis would be cool from NXT. I was thinking LA Knight because he he had uh, mic skills. He could probably. I could see that or Kyle O'Reilly. I've never I been impressed like by Kyle. Honestly. I feel like they chose Kyle O'Reilly over Adam Cole. I think that it was going to be a choice, and they chose him. I don't know why. Probably uh, they already knew that Adam Cole wasn't going to stay long and. WWE, and then, you know, Tommaso with... Ciampa, he, he doesn't ever want to cut out of NXT. Yeah, same with Gargano, dude. Yeah. Dude, I, I, out of those two, I really want Ciampa. Yeah, uh, I'd like to two, see that. I definitely want Ciampa. Because uh, during the NXT invasion or whatever thing they had with NXT, uh, that Ciampa, will, during Survivor Series, I believe, or whatever name they decided to give it that year, that, I mm -hmm. watched that tag match and it was great. That was really well done. With yeah. Keith Lee against Seth and Roman. Oh my god, that was great. Yeah. But yeah. And another thing too, I mean, that you can look out for in the draft is you know what it brought. They want to bring Braun Strowman back. True. Or, they, they're just hiding, know, hiding a hiding something. That's always what happens. See, that's mostly. what I. That's what I really wanted. For them to do with Adam Cole, I was, when when they when he showed up in AEW, I was like, no. Well, honestly, dude, AEW is gonna run itself in the ground if they keep if they just keep bringing ex WWE people. Like it's hope, yeah. It, but hey, egos are gonna crush everything. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there was that little fiasco beforehand with between uh, amongst uh, among the young bucks, Kenny mm -hmm. and uh, Cody. You know the backstage politics and stuff. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, I I'm hoping they don't become another WCW. Hopefully, they're smarter than them. Um, yeah, but they're already on. Um, you know, and another thing is too is MJF. I bet you he ends up in WWE. How I'd like to see him in WWE. That That'd is, be dope. That is true. I need to. He watch. would be. He I I I've seen some of his mic and he was great. No, he's a great heel, mm. and. I feel like he'll we be a great deal against Damien, too. Yeah. Against Damien. Definitely would put... See, one thing for sure. Uh, Damien is good in the mic, but, but I feel like he could be better. 
Mm-hmm. So I feel like he, if if they if you know if MJF decided to go come into WWE, I feel like he'll be a good fit against uh, Damian Priest. Uh, another good fit fit for him is a uh, Happy Corbin. They they can be like, mm-hmm. the two obnoxious wrestlers in WWE. But yeah, hey, look at this, crank it, crank it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I like it. I like it. But yeah, so everyone. We are at, we're pretty much an hour and a half. Yeah. Pretty much we did a pretty lengthy job on on all this. So. I think the best part was probably the match, the first. Yeah, if you guys <laughs> never seen it, uh, YouTubers, you definitely, you, you guys get to see it. But Spotify listeners, SoundCloud listeners, SoundCloud, SoundCloud listeners, uh, you can you guys can go right ahead to the YouTube side of this. Uh, you'll find the links on the description, and the links goes to the GRP YouTube channel where you can see the match between Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit and Hell in a Cell over at SummerSlam. I believe that's that was 2006 SummerSlam, or was it 2000? Something like that. It was 2006 because it was always a year ahead. Yeah. So. Anyway, yeah. today has, well, tonight has been the mock draft between us. I am SmackDown, and he is Raw. Raw. The Team Raw wins this one, I think. Yeah, you took a lot of many vendors. I had to, <laughs> I had to straight up take the next mid card, like, who I think could still sit at the main eventers slots. Yeah, and it's probably not super realistic, anyways. And, but yeah, okay. you know, no, because just what we would do. I I'm for sure the like out of my things, AJ, Sheamus, Finn, and Brock are probably the well, yeah, those guys are like probably my top main eventers if you know, mm-hmm. and realistically, but yeah, other than that, yeah. like I, I a lot of my things are like. I went for the people I want, and then you right. started picking the people that uh, that will, you know, will put up a good show. So I was just like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta do it that way. But uh, towards yeah. the latter half, I think I did pretty well. Uh, no, you you did well. My my mid cards are definitely gonna boost the IC honor. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so like I said, I was SmackDown, you were Raw, and this has been our. The 2021 mock draft of the WWE rosters between and uh, SmackDown and Raw. I've said that so many times now. It's a mouthful, dude. It's it all is, good. It is. It is indeed. Anyway, I'll let you go before it gets too late. It is. Wow, it's 1031. Wow. Yep. Anyway, my name is Ray, and my tonight's guest is my good old buddy, Mr. Flash Flood. Thanks for having me, dude. I appreciate it. It's always a blast. Always man. a blast indeed, good sir. And like always, have a good night and have a good Sunday. Peace. I don't know what. Later. Peace.